welcome back to another episode of Cabin Crow Simulator here in Roblox. Where today we're gonna actually talk about some of the, and I don't like to put it like this, but some of the worst features in Cabin Crow Simulator and what we could do to make them better. Now, I want to talk about two features that are in the game that have been in the game for quite some time, but they've one never changed, never been updated, and quite frankly, they are pointless. If they were both removed right now, one, you wouldn't even know, because two, you don't even use it. I know, crazy, right? So before we get into it, guys, if you do enjoy this video, smash that like button down below. Subscribe if you are new around here so you get notified when more Cabin Crew Simulator videos do come out in the future. And what I want you also to do is let me know in the comment section down below what you think of what we're going to be talking about today. How would you change these two pointless and the worst features in the game? Uh, and what would you add to make them better? So, boys! I feel like the developers hate me when I do videos like this, either suggesting updates or changing things in the game, because it makes everybody then spam them in the Discord. Don't do it. Just, um do it no don't do it <laughs> but i'm going to talk about two of the pointless features now the first one i want to talk about is this over here the sky lounge now you probably can see where this is going it's pretty pointless uh there's two ways in which you get into it right now it's open to premium members or somebody who has 70 plus flights now, premium members, I can't remember what what we had to do to get this. I'm, I think you have to buy a game pass. But believe it or not, I can't remember what game pass you needed to buy to be able to enter this. If you don't have either of them, you can't enter it. I've got the ability to go in. Uh, I'm not sure which one it is. I'm going to assume it's VIP. I don't know. There's not a single game pass here right now that tells us it unlocks the Sky Lounge. I don't know what it means. Premium room? No idea. No idea right now. I have no idea, boys. But basically, what the Sky Lounge is, is a secret room that you can only access if, one, you've paid for the Game Pass, or two, you have 70 plus flights. Now, if you've never seen it, what it is before, it's basically a room where you go up some stairs, and then you enter in, and it's an even bigger room. Ta-da! Congratulations on completing 70 flights. You get access to this room which is absolutely pointless. Now, I can kind of understand where the developers are coming from with this. I feel like it was a good feature, a good idea when they first kind of created the game, but it since has lost its um, meaning. Um, when, if, you, if you have access to this room right now, when is the last time you came in here? Now, I want to suggest some things that could make this a bit better, okay? Now, from the get-go, I understand what this room is. It's a sky lounge, a VIP section. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It has a model of a plane. Very nice right now. But the great thing about this is it has a really, really good viewing deck. It's the only place in the airport uh, where you can view planes uh, landing, taking off. It's actually pretty good. So for that reason, it's a pretty good feature in terms of a viewing deck right now. But the problem is it's only in Roblox here. You don't get it in any other airport. And it would be nice to have a viewing deck in every single airport to make one the game pass mean a bit more and two getting 70 flights mean a bit more as well because then you have access to a viewing platform a viewing deck in every single airport not just in roblox here yeah? but that's not the major suggestion that i want to make to improve this room this feature I kind of want to throw something out there right now now you can either agree or disagree but i feel like it will give us more meaning what if, right, what if you came up here and there was another dude in the corner somewhere and he gave you quests? Now, I know we already get that. I know we already get missions right now, but this will be a separate set of missions. You could call it premium missions. And basically, you come up to here, you go and speak to the person and they'll give you some specific missions, which one will give you higher paying rewards, but could unlock premium items now i thought about this right i thought about this uh, and i thought about it quite quite hard when you either buy the premium game pass you get access to catalog items that normal players don't get okay uh which are in the vip section here there you go there you go there you go beautiful 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 now what if right you do these quests and you unlock some premium items but then that kind of clashes with the premium game pass because people can get into this room that don't have the game pass. So then I thought, 
What if, right, and the developers only recently just implemented brand new seats for the planes. What if we get like new features like that? Like you complete a quest and it unlocks premium seats that you can get on your planes. Like you can get like a new style of economy, business or first class that you can only unlock by completing the quests in the VIP premium room, right? That will give us more meaning. And you have like different quests in different airports, in different sky lounges with different viewing decks. It will give us a little bit more meaning to why we need to unlock this. Now, obviously what you're thinking is, but Sediac, it's a VIP room. You gotta pay for the game pass. Well, that's the glorious thing about this. It's either you buy the game pass to, to skip the 70 flights, or you just do 70 flights to unlock it. And maybe in other airports, it could be you need to get 80 flights or 90 flights. You don't unlock every single one in one go. Each Sky Lounge um, has a different set of flights that need to be unlocked, or you just completely bypass it by ba buying the Game Pass. I feel like that will add a little bit more features to the Sky Lounge, give us a more of a reason to go up here right now. And also it's where we run up to and collect our premium daily payout. See what I'm doing there, boys. See what I'm doing there. I feel like we just need more features in here right now. So what do you guys reckon to this? What would you add to the premium lounge? Now, remember, but anybody can go to it. You just either got to have the buy, buy the game pass or do so many flights. So everyone has access to it. So it's not limited to be people, you know, paying to win. So what else would you add to it? I would like to see one of these in every airport. I would like to see premium quests, higher payouts, and maybe it unlocks actual physical objects, like maybe new clothing, new chairs for your planes. But each one in each airport has different requirements to unlock. Some are less flights, some are more flights. And we get a viewing platform in every single airport. That's how I would change the Sky Lounge. If you agree, let me know in the comment section down below and uh, let me know what you would add to it. If you disagree, let me know. I would love to see what you guys think and maybe it might give the developers some kind of um, some ideas of what they could do in the future. Now, that's the first pointless feature I want to talk about in the game. The next one, I have to create a flight to go somewhere else and it's kind of annoying that I have to do this, but... We'll go to somewhere nice like Tahiti, baby. Tahiti. Um, create the flight. Just get this plane in the air. Select, select, select. Um, I won't do a disaster. I just want to get there as quick as I can. As quick as I can. So, we've talked about it. We've done it. Now, you may be wondering, Seniac, well, then what is the second pointless feature you're going to talk about? And why do we have to go to a different airport? to kind of talk about it. Well, if you haven't guessed already, try and guess in the comment section down below. But this feature, weirdly, and I don't understand why, is in every single airport except Robloxia. And I don't understand why. I kind of feel like the developers are implemented because they thought it would be a pretty good idea in all the airports, but then completely forgot about the starter airport because they're thinking, oh, it's a starter airport, you don't need it. But then forget to realize people fly two destinations and then come back to Roblox here. And you're probably thinking, Seniac, what is this feature you're talking about right now? Please, for the damn folio, tell me right now. Well, uh, how do I pull it? How do I pull it? How do I pull it? Let me just close this door. Let me just get the plane in the sky and I'll explain exactly what the feature is I'm talking about. Why it is probably more pointless than the Sky Lounge, right? And probably why it's also going to be a little bit more difficult to make it worthwhile. So, tray table away, seat belt, skip taxi, sit down, take off. Right, there we go. So, the feature I'm talking about right now is the hotels. What is the point of the hotels in here right now? And crazily, Roblox here is the only airport where you don't have a hotel. I don't understand that because I get it. You start in Roblox here, you fly to destinations, and you can stay in the hotel. But you also fly back to Roblox here. So why wouldn't I stay in the hotel in Roblox here before I then go and do my next flight? What's going on, developers? Did you forget about Roblox here right now? But I want to talk about why it's kind of really, really pointless. And like I said, if they remove the Sky Lounge, you wouldn't know because we don't use it. If they remove the hotels, you wouldn't know. 
because we don't use it. Let's be honest. You went to the hotel. You paid for a room. You got inside. Then you walked out. And then you never came back to a single hotel ever again in your whole life. That's what happened, isn't it? That's what happened. Well, I got some ideas to how we can make it better. But before I can actually talk about how I can make them better, we've actually got to get there. We've got to get there first. So let's make some money on the way because the money we make on this flight is actually going to pay for the hotel room I'm about to buy. Oh my goodness me, they do get expensive, these hotel rooms. They do get expensive right now. So water, water, uh, coffee. Who else we got right now? We got a coffee. We got double Coca-Colas. So, ooh, excuse me, excuse me, Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola. And then we've got double coffees, boys. Coffee and coffee. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Right, so we'll do the trash. And then before you know it, we're going to be landing. And um, it's going to be interesting. It is going to be interesting. Now, while we wait until we get there right now, boys, I just want to say right now, we're talking about the Sky Lounge and the hotels in this episode, what I consider the two most pointless features in the game. At the moment, I mean, they could become really good if the developers updated and added some more features to them. But is there any other pointless features that should have made it in this video? If there's any other pointless features in the game right now that uh, you think could do with some work, or is there any features that if the developers removed, you wouldn't even notice? Let me know in the comment section down below. Right, hold on. Sit upright. There we go. And now we're going to land. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. So as we come into land right now, right, we'll start talking about the hotels because we're now going to be on the way. Now, I recently, um, about a month ago, I believe, I did a video on what the developers could add as a potential update known as be a passenger. Now... The reason I bring this up again, if you haven't gone, if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. But the idea was it would be cool if the developers added a feature where you can be a passenger on someone's airplane and you can spend some money to buy a ticket and you can fly. You could like, you know, request food on the flight and the people on the plane has to serve it for you. Uh, you just basically become a passenger. You become like an AI passenger. Right. And then you can like cause a disaster. You can cause like an, a, an event. You could not put your seatbelts on and they had to then tape it to the chair. All that good. But there's a feature I uh, explained in there that would be pretty cool is if you was a passenger and you got to and like landed at a new destination on someone's plane, before you can do anything else, you have to end your passenger experience by going to stay at a hotel. And that would give hotels a bit more of a reason to use them. Now, that's the first feature I kind of want to talk about right now is a uh, pretty good idea. But the problem with that is it's a huge update the developers will have to implement just for you to go and use a hotel. So it's got us thinking right now. What could we potentially add to hotels that would, one, make them better, make them useful, and give us a reason to actually go to them right now? It's a bit of a tough one, boys. It is a bit of a tough one right now. So let's go and run to the hotel in Tahiti. I always forget how far away the hotel is in this one. It's all the way over there. We've got some distance to run right now. Can I spawn my vehicle? Let's go, boys. Let's spawn the vehicle. Can I squeeze through? Yep. We're driving, driving. It's very dark right now, but it's okay. It's okay. So let me just show you. If you've never been to a hotel before in the game, let me just show you the hotel experience. Now, every, every airport has a hotel except Roblox here, and I don't know why. But basically, you come in, you interact, um, you can either check out if you're already staying here, or you can request a room. If I request a room, you've got the option of a regular room or a premium room. Now, if I request a regular room, I've got the key right now to 101. So 101 is, I'm going to assume it's this way, all the way at the end there. This is a regular room. This is a regular room right now. You come in. I put the key away. You have the bathroom. Very good, very good, very good, very good. You have the bedroom, which you can sleep in, but that's all that happens. And then you get up, and then this is the view. Now, sad thing for us, it is nighttime, so we can't really see how good the view is. And then when you're finished, you got to um, open up the door again with the key, which is really weird that you have to use the key to open up the door again. And then I can go and check out. So check out. Goodbye. Now, if I request in a room and premium room, this is the differences. Now, believe it or not, boys, the premium rooms are a game pass. So you have to spend 100 Bobux 
to be able to have the ability to request, right, a um, premium room. Now, I have a premium room, I'm assuming. Did I re request a premium room? Are you telling me this is the premium room here? Now, look at this. Now, the only thing that looks different in here right now is we have some sofas, which you can sit in. So I've paid 100 bow bucks right now to sit in a sofa. What? <laughs> but I feel like this is, again, another cool feature that the developers added in. And maybe they did have some big plans for what they could do, or what they can implement, or what the reason was behind utilizing hotels in the game. But I've since kind of been sidetracked with other stuff. And then the hotel stuff has maybe put a little bit of a uh, put on the back burner and not much done with it. Now, obviously, I did suggest it will be a good way to utilize air, um, hotels if you're a passenger on a plane. But that's a huge update, and I don't think we'll ever get that. And if we are going to get it, we ain't going to get it anytime soon. So we can scratch that one off right now. It's pretty much impossible. And then my other idea for utilizing hotels was, what if after every flight, you have to come to a hotel and rest? Now, I did think about that. It kind of makes sense. If you're kind of going on like long journeys or doing like, let's say like a multi-leg flight, it will be kind of cool like where you have to go and sleep in a hotel, sleep, and it will kind of fade to black and you'll wake up on the next day and then you can go and do another flight. But I feel like that would be kind of annoying. It would be so annoying to have to always go to a hotel after every flight. So I then thought, hmm, isn't, that's not really going to work, is it? And I thought, what if we had like statistics or stats on ourselves? Like we had like a, a hunger bar, we had like an energy bar, and I thought that would be kind of good. So maybe rather than doing it every flight, maybe with a full energy bar, you could get like three or four flights. And then and then you can't do another flight until you've replenished your energy by going to a hotel. I thought that would be a good thing, but then again, does it become slightly annoying? But then it also adds the point in. If you got an energy bar, you then have a hunger bar. And then it could lead back to maybe the hotels could each have a little bit of a buffet area where you can go and grab some food, replenish your energy, replenish your hunger. Also have a hygiene bar as well, which is adding probably a little bit too much. Because if you had a hygiene bar and you had to then take a shower, if you got into a plane and you were slightly stinking, like imagine like Welcome to Bloxburg and you got all flies and green smoke going around your character. The passengers don't like that. You know what I mean? And it could affect your flights, which is why you need to take care of yourself in the hotels. I thought those could be cool little additional features, but I really struggle to find a good way to improve the hotels. I really do. Like, really, really do find a difficult way to kind of uh, improve them. But if you guys have got any ideas of how you can kind of improve the hotel situation, let me know in the comment section down below. So just to recap right now, I would improve the Sky Lounge by enabling it to have um, a viewing, a, a Sky Lounge in every airport, right? So we, we can have a viewing deck in every airport and we can watch planes. If you're a plane spotter, it's perfect. Have quests in the Sky Lounge for premium items, either premium payouts or premium clothing or premium seats that you can only add to your plane if you've completed the quest. So maybe you can have different people or one quest in every Sky Lounge, different requirements to unlock it. That will add so much more to the Sky Lounges. It really would. And then the second one, well, the second point in this feature is hotels. I, it's really difficult to think about adding new features to the hotels and making them actually be useful. I think having maybe energy, because you are a cabin crew member. So having energy bar, hygiene bar, hunger bar could be pretty good. And when they're all full, you can maybe do like four or five flights before then the energy bars are getting super low. Obviously, big flights like an A380... Um, you would have to use a lot more energy. But on the A380, there's also beds. So you could have a little power nap on the plane to build your energy back up. And then obviously after a flight, or after many flights, come back here, replenish all your energy hunger uh, hygiene bars, and then go and do a bunch more flights as well. I feel like that would be a cool feature. I know a cool feature is utilizing it if you was a passenger as well, but I don't think we'll get that update anytime soon. So, yeah. Hopefully... It might give the developers some ideas. Maybe they've already got some plans and some ideas. But if you do see any of these features in an update coming soon, just know your boy said it first.
Until next time, I'll see you all soon. So goodbye.